today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Zach Wilson and the New York Jets. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today we've got an AFC East matchup between the New York Jets and the New England Patriots. And they welcome in everybody with Charles Davis. Brandon Gordon and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. Now we get a first look at this Patriots offense. And, of course, leading them for his second season. Last year's Rookie of the Year runner-up out of Alabama, Mac Jones. They run with a fourth-year man. This is Damian Harris. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Got a man open, that's Devontae Parker complete. And all the way to the 25 before he's hit and dropped. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Harris running straight ahead. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Throwing Jones. Short pass tip, but caught anyway. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Well, sure looked pretty coming off of his hand, but sometimes you might have to take a little bit off of it. That one looked a little too hot to handle. Yeah, but off the tip, hey, they still got the catch, right? It's amazing, isn't it? Even when it goes wrong, it, it turns out right. right. <laughs> and he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Now Jones. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. First down, and they go back to Harris. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Looking to throw, Jones. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll take this one down near the 15. 
Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football. They just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 15. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Garrett Wilson, the intended receiver, and it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin, and he'll take this across the... Tw 25. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. On first and ten, it's Carter. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them. And they get their first sack of the contest. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Dance into his left. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. That scramble good for 13 yards, but not good enough for a first down. It's fourth. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. The deep to return it is Marcus Jones. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Patriots take over. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times. He's not on the field, and he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? From just shy of midfield, Jones. And this is caught. It's Parker. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. They hand this off to Harris. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. 
That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to drop those types of plays, because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough, they couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. There's Wilson to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Wilson. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From midfield now, here's Wilson. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. How about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. And the fair catch is made. It's going to pin him back here at the seven-yard line. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Here's Jones on third down. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot Decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. And they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pick up three. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It'll be a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks. And that one ended up going backwards. 
On third and goal, Wilson. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. So they decline it as that will bring up fourth. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game play, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. Let's take it in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. And the pass to Henry is intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Play action. Now Wilson. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football. Gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. Third and long, it's Wilson. And that will be incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And that will keep this a four-point game. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Jonu Smith, 57 yards. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. That was a nice little setup there on play action for the long touchdown pass. Yeah, I've got to tell you, it brings back bad memories for a guy like me as a former defensive back because in a playbook I knew a long time ago, we described that play pattern as draw pass nine go. Meaning, fly pattern after the play action pass, trying to hit him for the deep ball. And boy, were they successful on that one. So tough because his speed is so great. You've got to make sure you don't miss any cues or keys in order to try and keep up with him. Draw pass, nine go. That's still a nightmare to this day. Yeah, I still wake up in the middle of the night and feel the guy going past me. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus-yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Forced out to his left. 
Open man here is Conklin. And he's tackled at the 38, but they doubled their yardage. The play started at the 19, and they gained 19. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. After one, a 14-3 ball game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. Being chased out left. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Robinson is into the end zone for a Jets touchdown. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come and have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Damian Harris of the Patriot offense ready to take over again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw. Jones buying time to his left. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. On the give, this is Harris. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Parker comes up with an incredible catch. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 29-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 76 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Looking to throw, Jones. Under pressure, and they got to him again. John Franklin Myers, the one in there to drop him. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, so much for holding them to a field goal. The pressure they got home on the previous play didn't hear. And that bought their quarterback some time to find a receiver. And it sets up a first and goal. 
This is Harris. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there again. O-line, they've been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now that says... If you now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. We hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. Full connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. The Jets on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. Throwing is Wilson. Throwing into traffic there, and that's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Robinson up the middle, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down, three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw is Wilson. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Matt Judon able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Throwing on third and long. Wilson steps away. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. He's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return, and they will take over first and ten. Getting set to go again on offense, here's Devontae Parker now. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. Is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Meanwhile, Jones' throw here taken in by Parker. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That'll put him over 150 yards receiving now. Quite a ball game and a first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have my... And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Devontae Parker, 33 yards. And his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. 
route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slam. Yeah, well, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start your move initially inside if you're a receiver. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. But now this offense comes back out onto the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Carter. And he'll be taken down, but he does first down yardage. They get five out of it moves the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Robinson on a give right side. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're stopping behind the line. It was Matt Judon that time who worked his way in to blow that play up. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. It's Wilson. He's going to look deep for more. Penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well down. So a costly penalty yardage-wise is that will move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball, and if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, less likely to draw the flag. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. From the shotgun, Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Jets are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. They'll run with Robinson. And they'll bring it down a short pickup. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. Again, it'll be Robinson. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. James Robinson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jets get a bit closer. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is down to 11 at 28-17. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. We haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first 
Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to throw. Jones. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Looking to throw. Jones. Open man to tight end Henry. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 31-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. A give to Harris. To about the 26 here. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. Folks' kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And Charles, they trail here, though not really the fault of this offense. No, they certainly did their part in the first half. When you're in a shootout like this, you definitely want your defense to play better, but you know that's out of your control. All you can do, keep putting points on the scoreboard and keep giving your defense opportunities to make stops. On second and 12, Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 more on that one and another first down. Back to Robinson now on first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Wilson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Working with a second and three. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. That is caught. It's Uzama. Touchdown, Jets. C.J. Uzama, 36 yards. And the Jets have got it back to within a score. Zerline good with a P.A.T. And that'll 
cut the lead down to a touchdown. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a Jet touchdown. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. Taken at the goal line. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And he'll go out of bounds, but not before reaching the opposite 35. So that will push him back. And now we know why I have a little extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back, that penalty will move them back. Jones throwing on first down. Going deep here for Parker. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Harris running straight ahead. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 118 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Now Jones on first and 10. Over the middle complete. It's Parker. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Jones now on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. On second down, this is Harris. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Here's Jones, off the play fake. And he's gonna drop this down to Harris, middle of the field. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got that look from me there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. A run with a second-year man. That's Ramondre Stevenson. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots have taken a two-touchdown lead now. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. 
And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he's going to be right down just inside the 35. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Off the play fake, Jones sliding out of the pocket. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. At this point, this offense feels like they could just roll out anything, and it would work. They are certainly in no hurry for this one to end. Not when they can rack up some stats and continue to add to their lead. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. Well, CD, that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit, give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? There's and he is in. Touchdown, New England. Jonu Smith, a beast of the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Pats take a three-touchdown lead. On for the extra point is Folk. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive, four plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Play action. It's Wilson. And he drops it in. And their struggles continue here. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. On third down, Wilson. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And this won't do. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Here's the Jets punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And he'll be hauled out at about the 30-yard line. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ballgame. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now Harris. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And the throw here caught by Devontae Parker. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark it at the 5. 
A good pick up there of 20 yards. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking a no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up with a first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They hand this off to Harris, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Patriots get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Now Folk for the extra point. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. A drive there of just four plays. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. They'll run with Carter. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a run right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on Ford. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. And finds Parker here, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. For 14 and a first down. <laughs> this is Harris. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 41, Jones. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. Throwing again on second and 10. Jones. Oh, that was sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 15-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. The partner is still in the third quarter, but they've got this one well in hand and still airing it out with gusto and picking up some nice gains. And even in lopsided games like this, you don't really see starters get lifted or the foot come off the gas before the fourth quarter. No one wants to leave any doubt when they're playing well. They just want to continue the process. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. Off play action, Jones. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra. 
extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. Oh, that's offline. He hooked it. It's no good. But that's just a minor blip here in what's been a thoroughly dominating performance. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And this offense on third down today, they're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This will be third and five. He's got the connection. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Wilson sets up the screen to Robinson. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Now it's Wilson. Quick slant, caught by Moore. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So here's the first and 10 now down inside the 20. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here's Robinson again on second down. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Now it's Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's more. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Second and goal from the one. Robinson again, and he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. James Robinson taking it in from a yard out. And the Jets get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down now to 22. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. 
And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football. You're up three scores. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Now, this looks like a roughing call. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Must because have. He had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. From the 41. Jones. And here is a leaping catch. He pulled it in. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. On the give, this is Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Damian Harris, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. On for the extra point is Folk. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Wilson's throw here into the hands of Moore. And they'll be stopped at the 28. On a play that started at the 14, they pick up 14. On first down, Wilson. Dancing to his left. Looking left side of him, he's got a man. That's Carter. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. Everyone has their strengths, able to move to their right or their left, being able to throw the football. So that means you've got to work on both because you never know which way you're going to get flushed by pressure. In this situation, able to escape to his left and makes an accurate throw. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate giving up. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. On second and goal, Wilson. That's going to be caught by Carter. He's got a Jets touchdown. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Jets are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll cut the lead down now to 22. So still lots of work left to do. But here comes the onside kick. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And 
this is secured by the Patriots. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into the game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. 39 yards there, a big one. Even with the big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away, and frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Off the play fake, Jones. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. This is Harris. 177 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. Oh, now a running play here with Smith. And they'll take it in the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Just a four-play drive that time, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. From the 40 now on second down. Wilson. Forced out to his left. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. Fired that one in there. Able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. And incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over the Jets try it but the fourth down play doesn't work and the Patriots take over and they're going to have terrific field position first and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball three tight ends are out there throwing to start the drive Jones going deep here for Parker and this is taken in at the five a big play there for New England and even 40 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long, and I would say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. They'll try and run with Harris, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Touchdown is fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. 
And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, and with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly. And now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling no either. you don't want that feeling again and who knows you may meet up with this team again Push him back. Push him back. Mike throwing now wilson on first down a throw to the flat for carter and they're going to get this up to midfield now the patriots will use the second of their timeouts that'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play To throw again is Wilson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 39. Wilson. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he's going to get this down near the 25. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one at the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Zerline connects on the extra point as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. Marcus Jones, a return man. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. take a knee here uh, Charles a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends and understandably so not only did they get the win but boy their offense was on fire in this ball game and partner I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars what's the top gear you can get into this offense they certainly were there in this one huh Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.